Welcome back to the Two Guys Named Chris Show. We have a dim report coming up. Now, inside it, this is a perfect segue, Dave. Yeah. Inside it, we have a follow-up on states that have banned plastic bags. You know, that's been a big thing where some states, at least, have said, okay, no more plastic grocery bags. Oftentimes, they're seaside communities, but not always. That's right. Do you know, I noticed when I went to visit my in-laws who lived in uh, near Charleston, South Carolina, Mount Pleasant, seaside community. When we went to get our chicken and pickles, the drinks came in a different container. It wasn't styrofoam. And the straws were paper. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, and I don't know if that's because they're seaside or. Did you demand to see the manager? Yes. Is it clear plastic cups? On here? No, it was just paper. It was a paper cup. More biodegradable? I guess. It was like a little, you know. Um, Those don't hold very well at the bottom. No, I agree. They, they, they compromise very early, the, the, mm-hmm. the base of the cup when you've mm-hmm. got something in there, especially like. Mountain Dew and it eats through it. Right. <laughs> From the top down. <laughs> well, the chemicals. Right. Because <laughs> it eats through the bottom of the cup. I know what you're talking about. So the, uh, but I'm used to getting styrofoam over chicken and pickles. Yeah. I love the styrofoam. Sorry. And a good plastic straw. Yeah. The, the paper straw is the most worthless, useless Yeah, they don't last long either. It, it's such a gimmick. We're not saving anything with those. Well, now, all right. Let me push back on that. Uh, are, are we not saving a billion plastic little pieces that go into the ocean every year? Or we I think it's such a minuscule Do makeup. Yeah, they've said this before, that it's such a joke. It's mm-hmm. just what company. It's the cheapest thing for companies to do. Well, in order to stop plastics from going into the ocean, is, is grocery bag the biggest offender? I mean, is that because we're getting ready to talk about that? Water bottles. Oh, well, well, yeah. But those mm-hmm. are, I mean, they are recyclable, but. It doesn't matter. So, so you have to put are. them in the recycle bin. Yes. Yeah. And, and plastic bags are too. Mm-hmm. Are they? they? Yeah, my grocery store has a bin for plastic yes. bags. But you can't just put them in your recycle bin at home. Correct. That's the thing about that. Can't. My wife collects them, and then once every six months, I'll take a thousand of them to back to Target and yeah. put them in their recycling bin. It's the remembering part to take the bag, because I have them. The bag's in the car. I yeah. just keep them in the car. Yeah, that's smart. But it's, you know, when you get halfway to the parking lot or in the store. Mm-hmm. You mean reusable bags? Yeah, I use yeah. the reusable ones. Yes. And they just hold more. Yes. They're sturdier. You know who uses a lot of reusable bags? Senior citizens. Yeah. When I'm at the senior citizen day at my store, mm-hmm. and and they bag, they love to bag their groceries. Yes. <laughs> their own. Yes. And it slows it the does. line. It does. Down. It does. It does. Oh, they don't want their bread crushed. <laughs> and their I eggs. know. And they don't want their I eggs know. and their bread smooshed. All that is a fact. And, and I like one bag for cold. Do you? One bag for cupboard. I take a big, like, almost a suitcase in there. It's big, and I put all my things in one bag. I mean, it's hard to even lift it by the end. Well, not, so not, you uh, you got to be able to lift it. Well, I am able, and I, it's a challenge for myself to try and lift those. But anyway, the whole point is there's a story in the Dim Report about uh, states that ban plastic bags. Where are we, you know, after a time? Are there states, or are they still just townships? Is there st- it's a mix. Is, yeah. is there other states? Okay. Mm-hmm. Was it New Jersey? Yep. I thought so. Is that who was? We're going to get into that. Uh, Christina wanted to uh, comment on plastics in the ocean and what thing you could do to stop plastics from going into the ocean. Go ahead, Christina. So, yeah, you'd have to get China and India to quit doing that because they're the ones that I want to say it's like 80 or 90 percent of the waste in the ocean comes from those two countries. Now, you know, we have said that in the past. I used to, I've said that, and we had callers. I should do the research on it. We've had callers saying, hey, the United States is a big offender, too. That, yes, China and India are right up, like, number one. We do better than they do, but we do. we're not, Yeah, we ain't perfect. I know. It would be not, thank you, Christina. Mm-hmm. It would be nice to see them take it, make an effort. Internationally, it's tough to There's do. There's not man. a lot of litter in China, I can tell you that. Now, what they're doing with their garbage, mm-hmm. I don't know. But You've been to the, China. The streets are clean. You've been to China. And the streets there, there's 100 people in every block cleaning. Oh, that's right. They picked up everything. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. But I don't that, think India is. No, it's, no, it's a different, the streets different of India. setup. So maybe their garbage goes into the ocean, as she was just saying. Mm-hmm. South China Sea. Now, anyhow, this is all about uh, you know the environment. You know, yeah. A green out. segment, if you will. A, a green segment. And Dave just reminded me, sometimes when I make a statement or somebody makes a statement, we will put that statement, write it down. Dave always writes it down, puts it in an envelope, and puts a date on it. Now And it says, open on this date. Yeah, the is it, There's the camera. Is it envelope worthy? And evidently yeah. this was. Not only envelope worthy, but Dave has put uh, his... Sealing wax. Wax <laughs> seal it on there. Sometimes we wax him up. And put his thumbprint in it, so there's no way to go back in. Like whatever like Henry VIII. <laughs> right. So whatever it says in here, if I want to go back and change it, I can. It's sealed with wax, you know. That's right, because I don't trust y'all. No. So it says, open on August 9th, 2022. That's today. And sometimes there's nothing underneath the date. Right. Sometimes there are little notes. It says Impossible Burger. 
So my guess is that a year ago or two years ago, likely I made a statement that the Impossible Burger was going to take off and do very well at Burger King. Or, or somebody said, I said, I'll definitely try one within the next year. Okay. <laughs> and then those of us said, no, no, no you will never. all on the honor That's right. System. We're on the honor system. So here, I'm going to open this envelope now. Pull it up to the microphone. We have no idea. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. We have no idea what this says. It's on a... Uh, it, it's on a uh, index, card. index card, and it says, on August 9, 2022, Impossible Burger, is it still on fast food menus? And the answer is yes, Burger King still has it, but McDonald's just canceled their McPlant. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we just reported the other day it's not selling as well, nearly as well as they thought it would. Mm -hmm. No, and I don't know, like KFC did Nuggets for a while, but I don't know if those are still there. And yeah. you saw the, the blowback that... Uh, Cracker Barrel tried. They tried to cancel Cracker Barrel. They tried. Cr Cracker Barrel tried to do a plant-based sausage. You mean Woker Barrel? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? I'm not yeah. eating at Woker Barrel. <laughs> no, forget it. To. Who's eating at Woker yeah. Barrel no. with a plant-based sausage on there? I've had my last chicken and dumplings from them. <laughs> Just vegetarian gravy. My friends didn't die. Faced out in the mud in Nam. <laughs> Plant-based eat a plant-based plant sausage. Now, no one's forcing you to eat the plant-based sausage. No. Cracker Barrel spokespeople said, "This is an option for our vegetarian nah. <laughs> vegetarian clientele." Get out of here. So, I guess the answer is yes. Yeah. Okay. But, but they haven't taken off. I am sure I ran my mouth and said, "This is going to be the biggest thing to sweep the country." The impossible. Well, on the burger. honor system, have you eaten a plant-based meal since then? No. I have not. I've had black bean burgers. I like a black bean burger. I've had but them. But they existed way before this. That was that's not that's not quick no. serve food. I though. ate those in the nineties. This is a an impossible burger from Burger King, which is made of plant based. Uh, is and people mm -hmm. do say that it has the great texture and tastes almost exactly like a Burger King Whopper. And they do still have it. You say I yes. What I'm about the sure green that. and white? Uh, striped chicken bucket. They got that anymore? Is that gone? I've not been to KFC, so I'm I've not been sure. told that's gone. That's gone already. See, that was gone. That's they took that out. That was a year ago, two years ago. Yeah, and so KFC got out of the non-chicken chicken game. Yeah, nobody wants to buy that crap. Apparently not. Mm. Not here in America. <laughs> they don't. Not at, I think Burger King did Wokey fried chicken. <laughs> I'm not going to Wokey fried chicken or Woker Barrel. I'm not going to Woker Barrel. <laughs> throw throw that food into the uh, South China Sea. Okay. The Pacific. <laughs> Nobody cares. That's right. And I and that'll biodegrade. It's plant based. That's right. And I just gave you my uh Chick fil A hack not fifteen minutes ago about uh how macaroni I'm... ranch, bacon, mm -hmm. cheese. So you chicken. need to your I what I call now call your so you need to poop hack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'll that'll grease up the uh, rails. It's a, it's a greasy mac. If you haven't pooped in two days, I have something for you. <laughs> what is it? Oh, buffalo sauce. I should, yes, buffalo sauce and ranch and mac and cheese. With uh, you chop up your nuggets real fine. You know, you have to take it home and chop it up real fine, and then mix it together. Because the chef there won't do it for you. I'm going to put it on our website. Well, if you sit at the chef's table, he will. Uh, yes, I'm going to put that on it's our website. To know the chef. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, I'd say it's on the menu, but it's not as successful as I that thought. It sounds like one of those things where I predicted to be gone. You, d I'm sure you, you did. because everybody was doing the uh, plant based stuff. It's losing that's ground. Right. That's right. It last is summer. It is losing ground. Will Burger King still have but it? It's still front and center on the menu on the burgers. I figured. I mean, they're, they're, they're the, the ones first. that had yeah. the, the success with it. They're the only ones, really. Well, I wonder if it'll be on their menu five years from now. That'll be a big test yeah. to see if it tests. Oh, and, and what are they selling? Of it? I mean, how, how, how I much of, of their sales? How many is per that? day per yeah. store? And how much of it is just yeah. let's just keep it on there because we can? Yeah, that's probably that may be the case.